then up comes the list of all the latest knowledge base articles related to printing. And this is actually the database that our support professionals use as well. So as a user, you can actually access this and ultimately save yourself a lot of time if you want by not having to go through and, and call a PSS person and wait through the lines there. Okay, very cool. Now, BJ, our, our uh, support technicians also tell us that one of the most common reasons for support calls is that you know, a PC stops working properly because of outdated or obsolete or corrupted drivers. Now, does Windows 98 also provide a way to make sure that you always have the latest drivers? Yes, we've got a tool within Windows 98 called the Windows Update Wizard. And what this does is it takes you to the Windows Update site on Microsoft.com. And this is actually a one-stop shopping network for all your latest system files, whether it's bug fixes, updated service packs, or even third-party drivers. Um, so let's take a look at this site. It's actually right on the top of the Start menu, called Windows Update. And what this tool does is it will actually inspect your computer and figure out what your exact configuration is in terms of system components and hardware peripherals. And then it'll scan your system to see if there are any later files available that we know of on Microsoft.com. And if there are, we'll give you the option to install them. Now, those of you who may have security concerns, you'll be very happy to know that all this comparison of what is actually on your system is done locally on your machine. So we never upload any of that information back to the web to Microsoft. So that we ensure your confidentiality there. Now, let's take a look at the Update Wizard. <coughs> In this case, the Update Wizard is now scanning my, my system, figuring out what exactly I have installed, and it's comparing it to the latest and greatest system files. In a minute here, you'll see it comes up with a list of available updates. Now, right now, we've just got um, a basic update available. Welcome to the Windows Update website. This is just a sample of what you might see. And on the right-hand side, it says description. Welcome to Windows Update Wizard. Yeah. It also tells you here you know, how long it would take to download it if you're using a 28.8 modem. This would be less than a minute. So let's go ahead and install this. OK, so you see it's downloading it. And <coughs> Now it's done. And if I now go to my desktop, here's the welcome.txt message that it just installed on my computer. That was incredibly easy. Exactly. Now the nice thing is, is that with Windows Update, you can actually, at any time later, go back and restore your system to how it was previously. So say, for example, you don't want to have that little update on your system anymore. I hit the Restore button, and what it says is Previous Updates. These are all things that I would have already installed from Windows Update onto my PC. And now I can now very easily uninstall it. So let's go ahead and hit uninstall. And now you see the file's gone. So that's how easy it is to keep your system up to date with the latest and greatest system <coughs> files with using the Microsoft Windows Update. Cool. You know, BJ, um, a common problem that uh, Windows 95 users tell us about is that, you know, they have problems with their PC after they've installed a certain application, and they find that other applications perhaps have stopped working. And the reason, common reason for this is that there's become a, you know, a DLL conflict where the new in application has installed files that now conflict with an older application and cause it to stop working. And for many Windows 95 users, the only you know, course of you know, the only solution to this might be to have to reinstall Windows, especially if it was a system file that was broken. Now, does Windows 98 give us any additional help in this area? Yes, it does. Let's take a simple example here. Let's take a look at the calculator application. I'm trying to launch my per favorite personal finance application, and uh, something's going wrong. It says this program has performed an illegal operation and will be shut down. Now. You know, something's obviously wrong here, but it's very difficult to know what. You know, maybe I just installed a new application and there's some kind of conflict with one of the files that Calculator uses. Um, and often the only recourse, as you were mentioning, is just to do a reinstall because more often than not, that'll fix it, but it's not really the most efficient way to fix it. So in Windows 98, we now have a tool that'll allow you to diagnose this and find the exact problem much, much more efficiently. It's kind of like looking for a needle in a haystack. It allows you to find that needle very quickly. This tool is called the System File Checker. And what it does is it scans all your system files for anything that's been corrupted, deleted, or changed. So I'm going to hit Start. And it's going to scan my system files. And in a moment here, it's going to figure out what the problem is. System File Checker has identified that the following file has changed, calc.exe. And so what I can do is actually choose to restore it. And I'm going to restore it from my usual my original install media. 
And now, hit close and let's try to run the calculator. And immediately you see that it works. Awesome. So with this tool, we make it very easy again to diagnose problems that in the past you could spend hours trying to d diagnose and troubleshoot. Now it's just much more efficient. Another area, BJ, in which Windows 98 is a great step forward from Win95 is in the area of hard disk capacity. Windows 98 has a new file system called FAT32 that addresses some Windows 95 file system limitations in two areas. One, in partition size and in how efficiently information is stored on your hard disk. Let me give you an example to show you how much more efficient Windows 98 can be, can be in terms of storing information. On my Win95 system here, I have a demonstration utility that is taking a look at my hard disk, and I've got two, um, I've got two partitions, each of two um, gigabytes in size. And I'm going to simulate here a conversion to FAT32. And we're just going to do a scan on my C drive and see how much hard disk space I would get back if I converted to FAT32. And it's doing, it's coming along, it's almost finished, and let's take a look. Now, on a two gigabyte hard, disk, hard, hard drive, I'm currently using about 1.3 gigabytes of hard disk space. If I convert it to FAT32, I get back over 700 megabytes of additional disk space. So that's about 50% of, over 50% of the space that you're currently using right now. Yes, you could actually, you could almost think of this as getting a hard disk for free. Or for the price of Windows 98. Exactly. Days. Now, one other thing that we have with, with the uh, file system on Windows 95, is that if you have a new hard disk, maybe a four gigabyte hard disk, hard disk, like a very large hard drive, with FAT16, you need to convert that, you need to divide that into two separate disk partitions, a C drive and a D drive. And it'd be really nice to be able to support a single partition, like a C drive, that's larger, that would use up your entire disk. With Windows 98, it's possible to format your drive with and have a single partition for a large disk. In fact, when FAT32 supports hard disks of up to two terabytes in size. So that's a thousand times larger than the maximum supported size by the existing FAT16 uh, file system. Exactly. Which so is what ships in Win95. That's right. And Windows 98 provides a very easy to use conversion utility to convert a Win95 FAT16 drive to FAT32 to get these benefits. So what you're saying is that I could take a drive that has FAT16, has a lot of my personal data on it, I could convert it in line to FAT32 and I would get disk space back. That's exactly true. What's the average that we expect most users to get back? We expect that most users on average will get about 28 to 30 percent um, additional space on their hard drive by converting to FAT32. Great. Okay. What I'd like to do now is walk you through another utility that we've got in Windows 98 called the Windows Maintenance Wizard. The Windows Maintenance Wizard is a, is a tool that allows you to automate a bunch of scheduled tasks on a regular basis. And a lot of users, they never think about running these tasks. Let me show you what some of these tasks are. Okay, Windows will, pe will perform the following tasks. You see here that it's actually going to speed up my most frequently used programs. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second. Uh, it's going to check my hard disk, hard disk for errors. And it's also going to delete unnecessary files from my hard disk. So think about it. A lot of users, they never think to go into their temp directory and delete all those files in there. And often, six months later, they go there, <coughs> and there could be, you know, 50, 100, 150 megabytes of wasted space in there. Or, for example, in your temporary internet directory. Every time you go to a website, when you download pictures and GIFs, that gets cached on your hard drive. And, that, and after a while, that takes up a lot of space. So with this tool, what it allows you to do is set up these relatively mundane tasks that most users don't think about, but it runs them on a regular basis. And if you run these tools on a regular basis, it will keep your PC running at peak performance. So all you as a user need to do is run this tool once, and you can ensure that going forward, your PC will always be op operating at peak performance. Now, I mentioned before that programs on Windows 98 will actually launch faster than on Windows 95. Let's drill down on that a bit. What we actually see is that if you have an identically configured machine, one with Windows 95, another with Windows 98, on average, most programs will launch about 36% faster. Why don't we uh, go ahead and just put this to the test right now. Um, head to head. Head to head. Dave, yeah. you've got a Win95 machine. Yeah. I've got a Win98 machine. They're identically configured, and we're both going to launch Photoshop and see how it goes. Now, Win98 will be on your left. Win95 will be on your right. And uh, we'll go three, two, one, go. Go. Okay, perfect. And go. So, we ready? I'm all set. Okay. 
And don't cheat. <laughs> Three, two, one.